Hi, in this video I will show you how you can quickly adapt any material to your specific render pipeline. Firstly, let's start with what is render pipeline. Render pipeline is a number of operations in the specific order to change the way the things are rendered in your scene. There are four main templates for render pipelines in Unity. The first one is built-in render pipeline, which you are all familiar with, because everyone starts with built-in usually. There is also URP, which is Universal Render Pipeline. It's created for universal platforms like Android or even PC, or maybe some consoles. You can use it on pretty much any platform that you want. And for rendering high-quality graphics, there is HDRP, which is High Definition Render Pipeline. It's available only on PC platforms, but it allows you to have quite a good performance on high-quality graphics. There is also another one, fully customizable, it's called Scriptable Render Pipeline. That means you can definitely change every part in it and you can configure your render, your pipeline, uh, to see something on the screen. You can optimize it, you can add some custom features or whatever. I should mention that URP and HDRP, they are also scriptable render pipelines, so you can also change them. Now you will say, yeah, that's everything is good. Now what's the problem with materials? Unfortunately, when you are trying to switch from different render pipeline to another, you can have some troubles. And you can open the scene and see something like this. You can see these pink shaders and these compilation errors. Now why do they happen? The idea is that when we are writing a shader, we don't want to fully write it by ourselves, like every time writing the same code. So we have some special files with some libraries that are supported by our render pipeline. It's important because each render pipeline has its own optimization, its own pipeline. So they have different parameters, different functions and so on. So actually different files as well. For our packages, we provided specific way to convert any type of materials to another render pipeline. We created a folder called Render Pipeline Convert, and in this folder you can see there are two packages. One is converting from URP to built-in, and another one converting from URP to HDRP. We don't have conversion to URP, as we already have all of our shaders by default in URP. If you have some more complicated stuff and you cannot use our packages for this, then stay here and see how you can do this manually. We will start with default built-in render pipeline. You should have URP shaders by default in every package. And as you can expect, they don't work in built-in render pipeline. It's quite simple to change standard Unity materials. You can change it easily in your shader property of material. You can change it from universal lead to something like standard. By the way, check other options, because they may be quite efficient for your specific case. For example, you have baked lighting, and then you don't need to have lead material. You can use just baked lead, and it's more optimized, it has less parameters and so on. That's quite quite important topic. You should also know that if you have some custom shaders, like for example we have for vacation or for water here, you should change it manually to some another shader or rewrite shader manually because it doesn't convert automatically. There are no standard shaders provided for these specific situations. If you don't want to change all of this manually, you can go to our render pipeline convert folder and select URP to built-in, double click for importing package. So now we are exactly done with built-in render pipeline. Let's move to URP. Again, by default, we provide URP shaders for every material. So basically, you shouldn't have this problem with changing materials for URP pipeline. But if you have some troubles, then you can just convert it manually. And it's done in the opposite way as we were converting from URP to built-in. So, for example, I have a standard material, then I can select a shader, Universal Pipeline Lead, and it will be automatically converted to Universal Pipeline Material. Of course, if you have unlit material, you should convert it to Universal Unlit, for example, or whatever. 
that works in the both ways. And if you have some custom shaders, you select our custom shaders for URP in this folder. Because if you won't, then they won't convert anyhow automatically to a standard shader because they are incompletable. Another way to convert standard materials is to go to a specific menu. You can go to Edit, Rendering and select here Convert from built-in to URP. And this will work for converting selected materials to a specific render pipeline automatically. It doesn't require any manual work. In this way, you can convert materials from built-in to URP and get rid of these pink shaders. Now let's move to high definition render pipeline. So when you will import the package to your project from our asset store, you will have URP assets by default. So to convert some URP materials to HDRP, you should do it or manually, uh, you can go to the specific material, we should go to the high definition render pipeline section and select exactly materials that you need. You can also use our converter from URP to HDRP in render pipeline converter directory. And the last way is if you have built-in shaders, you can go to edit, rendering and convert materials from built-in to HDRP. But this doesn't work for URP, so that's a problem. For specific shaders like water or vacation, again you should go to the specific folder and find out which shader relates to each pipeline and select the right shader with the name, for example, vacation HDRP for your specific material. By the way, shader graphs are in a specific menu here, so while selecting, keep in mind that you can select it only in shader graph section, not in other sections. So that's the place where you can find them. So that was everything about how you can convert materials from different render pipelines to another. There is quite a new feature in Unity 6, which is called Render Pipeline Converter. You can use it if you are using this version as well. So it's really simpler than this manual work or whatever. But we also provide our own packages for conversion to different render pipelines. Now that's everything. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe. And go check our, our temple package in Asset Store, linked in the description. Goodbye.